this is my outfit of the day. I'm about to go to the markets with my sister. I'm just wearing some white little sandals, sunflower skirt, a white top, and my Vogue eyewear. And before I go, look what I got. I am going to do a full apartment tour, but we ended up finding this picture. And then yesterday I picked up this mat. We weren't sure whether we wanted a white mat or like a bamboo colored mat. So this is like a nice little compromise. And I feel like it just warms up our space a lot more, makes it look more homely. But for now, I'm going to take my basket. And my sister and I are going to go to the markets. No boys allowed. Well, there's chopping boards. Oh, that's cool. I like wooden stuff. I was just saying to Em how I'm pretty sure this is just like a foodies market, but like whatever. For the lols, for the mems. Gram. For the gram. Nope. FTG. But we're not actually doing this for the gram, we're just doing this because sister time. I'm doing it for the gram. No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> so I woke up with the intention of doing 10 sprints and then I was like, <sighs> <sighs> no. Priorities. Like, you know what? It's a Sunday. We never have the day off together. I'd rather spend time with you. Kurt was camping yesterday and he came home last night. And he was like, oh, where are you going? To the markets with him. He was like, oh, okay. I was like, have a good day though. And he was like, oh. And like, this went on for like an hour. And then when I left, what did he say? He was like, you don't want me to come. And I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, You're it's a right. sister date. And he was like, well, I can... I can go if you want. I was like, nah, nah, that's okay. I'd really rather you didn't. <laughs> so like, oh, I'm just gonna wash the car. I was like, okay, have fun with that. <laughs> Do it twice. Keep yourself occupied. Oh, poor girl. What are you guys for going away? With yeah, right. Friends? Yeah, exactly. You have a friend day. I have a friend day. <laughs> my friends. <laughs> No, I actually saw my friends yesterday. I know. Your yeah, friends? Friend. Friend. That's where Elise and Sophie. Whoa! I don't know if you guys know, I'm not like a super social person. I don't know if you guys know, Sarah doesn't have any friends. Shut up! No. I'm quality over quantity, 100 cent. No, you're hurting my heart. Oh, sorry. No, I wish mum was here, not you. How <laughs> sad is that? <laughs> I wish you? Sophie was here, not you. You dumb idiot. I wish my mum was here. <laughs> I like my family. Is that so bad? Because she's always with Tara. Yeah, but I don't think she likes her other sister. No, as no, much. no. I love you guys. Sorry so that I'm a worker. Sorry that Tali is in debt and I bring in the money. <laughs> You're popular. Come on, friends. You're all about quantity. <laughs> Catch up with you later. Catch up with you later. Good use, thanks, Emmy. Got my usual long black with a dash of almond milk and a dash of donkey and a dash of donkey. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, what did people do without oh, phones when they were mirrors? <laughs> like seriously, it's a bargain. I love my hair. So. Yeah, me too. Thank you. I need a mirror. I don't know. Does it look weird? <laughs> hey guys, I'm just here with Sarah. Just buying a hat. I'm gonna give her a discount. <laughs> Actually, they had up 20 bucks. Like, really <laughs> no, like, Sarah? Oh, yeah. Blue pop screen. Hey, Susie. I can't tell. That's this so whole trip was worth it just for this. <laughs> but I don't know, like, is it just a kid's petting zoo? Because I want to go in. <gasps> Look at those pigs. Oh my gosh, what? I'm going to I'm gonna go in. I'm going to pay. That's it. <laughs> I wanted a puppy for so long. I'm needing to nurture something. And Em was like, I'm not going in. She's like, if you pay for me, I'll go in. <laughs> I'll pay for you. We're going in. I'll tie for two. Two, two. <laughs> Sarah's made a new best friend. No, what's your name? And it's not the little girl, it's the pig. Emily. <laughs> Look at her. I know I love that chicken. I love that chicken. That's my favorite oh, thing. They are. I wonder how big they get. You're the best ever. My heart hurts. No, this is so your soul. <laughs> Me and you, we're on the same page. <laughs> we'll be here together. Don't pick them up. <laughs> oh, I do like animals. I'm not soulless. Yeah. This would be like the size of my dog. 
I love this chicken. Oh, Sarah, please. You don't even, chicken. you don't even like animals. <laughs> They're always like the weird ones. You know? <laughs> yeah, look at Emily, that. you're one with the animals. You're a changed woman. <laughs> I'm feeding it organic herbs. Herbs free, dairy free, soy free, flavor free herbs. <laughs> Who do you want to be? Sarah's made a friend. Yeah. It was like the best $10 I've ever spent in my life. <laughs> Drop a poetry going on. We've got salad. Oh, she gonna see? Yum. Got a quinoa salad with some cranberry and mint. Amy got the same. Mm. That was a really nice salad though, hey. I'm still hungry. I like the fruit. Are you serious? I can't believe that you didn't even finish yours and I'm like still hungry. I was gonna say, I had a drink as well, but so did you. Yeah, well, you know. Girls gotta eat. I eat a lot of food. Fish gotta swim. Birds gotta eat. What's that from? Come on. Nemo? Yeah. Such yeah, good vibes here. People were so, they were so lovely. lovely. Yeah, do I need to get something for Kurt for Valentine's Day? I wasn't gonna get anything for I never, I, I'm not a Valentine's Day kind of gal. It's too glary. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's like my eyes kind of just. I'm gonna get sunburnt in my own apartment. <laughs> yes, let's go swimming with the GoPro. I'll go get it. Great. Oh, go. like quarter to eight in the morning and I just woke up and last night I had the worst sleep because my booty is so sore like I don't remember the last time I was this sore from a workout every time I needed to swap over from my left side to my right side I woke up because my booty was just like oh my gosh so tight two days ago I tested one of my booty workouts for Sweat It Reload and like approved it I don't know I just did like a lot of pain but like good pain Oh my gosh. If you're really sore, you don't just have to continually roll on your muscle. You can just apply pressure to where it's sore and just sit there for a little bit and let your muscle sink in. And the key is to try to relax that muscle. So if you're tensing your glute while you're sitting on the foam roller, it's not really going to get the full benefit. So try to relax, breathe out. Oh, and my bottom. But, um, oh, oh. Pain is so real. Okay, I need to like stretch a little bit and then we will progress to the foam roller. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, yesterday I didn't end up working out because just couldn't be bothered. And like it was Sunday, yeah, I just wasn't in the mood to work out, so I didn't. And maybe I'll cook some paleo muffins because I've been craving like berry muffins, and the ones across the road are so yummy at our cafe. Every day I want to buy one, but I'm like, I need to make it. And then I'll just like walk across the road with my muffin and sit on the beach. Like, hashtag domestic princess. Actually, do you know what I haven't done in such a long time? A body update. Maybe, maybe I'll go and do a body update. That would be fun. Let's do that. All right, without sounding like so annoying, like, oh my gosh, my next ebook's going to be the best. I'm totally not trying to sound like that, but... My body has honestly changed since I've started testing out the workouts. Yeah, I'm just like really happy so far and I'm curious to see if you guys see a difference as well. So here's my stomach. Mind you, I haven't had any food today, so like this is fresh since I've woken up. And I don't even know why I do that. Like I have no boobs to hold up, like so I'll just hold my shirt. So that's me holding up the skin and that's me not holding up the skin. Oh man, I look half asleep. I really should have like washed my face and like semi gotten ready for the day, but anybody got time for that. All right, my arms, like I said, my arms are my problem area, but I feel like they're leaning out quite nicely. All right, don't mind my bruises. I was testing out workouts with these little dumbbells and I was leaning the corner of them on my legs. And then I came home from the gym and I was like, probably shouldn't do that. But yeah, I don't know if you can really tell, but I feel like they are leaning out, especially down here. All right, let's put my pants back up. Oh, start off with some Bieber. We, we Keep each other company Good morning guys, it is Friday. Oh look at that beautiful sunflower though, I like that. This vlog 
I wouldn't say about stepping outside my comfort zone, but it's about like mixing up my day and doing different things. Whatever, you're on my bad side today. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. As a YouTuber, I get asked to go to a, like a lot of events, and honestly, it's not really my vibe. Like, I'm not really an events gal. Mostly because we live out in the beaches, it's like a trek into the city. But people have been in my ear lately being like, Sarah, stop being such a hermit crab. Live life a little. Live life a little and go to these events, and I was like, okay. Mm while I'm young and youthful and full of energy, I'm gonna go to these events and I'm gonna have a great time. And look, I'm not unappreciative that I get invited to these things. Like I said, it's just not my jam. I'm a simple gal, just wanna be in my kitchen. It comes from my mum, you know? My mum is the same. She just wanted to be in the kitchen, chilling, bruh. We're simple gals. What's it called? Aqua, aqua yoga. Aqua yoga, floating yoga. Yeah, so, like I did bring my GoPro so that I can film in the water. I got up at six. I was supposed to get up in the fives. But like, <laughs> anybody got time for that? <laughs> this is why I don't come to these events and no one likes me. <laughs> I feel like a lot of YouTubers and Instagrams are friends with each other and I like, no, nobody. <laughs> you got me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so unappreciative. You're such a hermit. <laughs> Second one's right. First one's wrong. <laughs> Living life and being young and youthful. Little jokes have yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Living life before I become a MILF. It's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness, two years ago when I was like single and finding myself again, that was the year of the YOLO. Pretty much say yes to everything. So if I got an invitation to an event, I would just say yes and go. And then I suppose once I was like moving into my apartment and I was super busy, I like didn't really go to events anymore. Also, because Kurt and I are going to Byron in like a week and a half, it got me thinking about like traveling and just experiencing things like before one day I do become a mum. All I talk about is babies now, you don't have to tell me. I want your opinion. So we're thinking either like Canada or Utah. I don't really know, so give me your opinions on what a good snow holiday is. Alright, Sarah, I suppose that's me. All the girls got different outfits, this is my one. It's like a crop and matching tights. Alright, so behind the scenes of a social media event. This is the part of the morning that everyone gets photos and this is the part of the morning that I'm really bad at. Whenever Kurt and I are together, we just get like really cool candid photos, but I'm not good at setting up photos. I feel weird like giving my phone to someone and being like, take a photo. So I just sort of like mesh out in the background. I just like chill here while everyone's over there taking photos. Like I said, guys, I'm usually in my kitchen baking. Cruise by myself, and um, I'm actually just keen to get in the water. I just found out that you actually have to jump in the water and like swim to the mat to get to the mat. I thought like we'll get on the mat and then they'll push us into the pool. <laughs> LOL jokes! <laughs> and to be honest, I just want to go and eat that fruit platter. I don't know if that'd be very appropriate. Maybe afterwards. annoying it is to like put tights on a wet body. Now there's nothing. They didn't tell us we were actually gonna get wet. I yeah. But I thought I would just be like a ninja yeah. and just not get wet. Not get wet. No, no I'm driving. Oh, you're driving! <laughs> Uber schmoover! Is it bad that I just got puffed from that um, staircase? Oh, can you please balance? Oh my gosh, it's so hot in my apartment today. Like I've planned to film a sit down chat video at Tropica Hall, like my superfoods haul, but I seriously cannot film it because I'm just sweating my face off. But before I go, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my health and my cervix. Super briefly, if you're not familiar with what's going on with my body right now, this is just like a really quick summary. A few months ago, I got a pap smear and unfortunately it came back with abnormal results. So it showed abnormal cells on my cervix and then I had to go in for another pap smear 
near a colposcopy where they like look at your cervix up close with binoculars and a biopsy. When he looked at my cervix, he said, yes, I did have high grade SIN3, which basically means a lot of my cervix is covered with these abnormal cells. If not treated, possibly it could turn um, cancerous, so into cervical cancer. I'm not saying I have cervical cancer. I don't. I just had the abnormal cells on my cervix, which isn't a good thing. And then last week I got the results back from everything and my gynecologist was just like a little bit confused because my other pap smear and my colposcopy came back with high grade. So that's three results coming back with SIN3, but then my biopsy came back with low grade. So he was just saying that perhaps maybe he took a section of my cervix that was low grade, but the rest of my cervix is high grade, he's not too sure. So ideally he does want to operate, but he's given me the go ahead to give myself two months just to really not clean up my diet, like my diet is already really clean, but just do everything I can naturally to see if my body will help heal itself or if it's going to decrease a little bit. So he's given me two months and then in mid-April, I'm gonna go back to him and get another colposcopy and another biopsy. And then if it's still in the high grade, then I might have to operate on it. But I will deal with that when it comes, but this is literally just an update for you guys. I'm not telling you to do anything. If you're suffering with this as well, if you're going Going through a similar situation I'm really not giving you any advice per se this is just what I'm doing and I just want to give my body the opportunity to try to heal itself and then if it doesn't then I will deal with that when it comes but I am doing everything under the guidance of my gynecologist my naturopath a Chinese doctor like I have a lot of different people helping me through this so I'm in a really positive mindset and honestly whatever will be will be and I just feel like I'm surrounded by really supportive friends and family right now and I just, I feel good, I feel fine. But I seriously have to go guys because I'm sweating so, so much. I'm gonna go across the street to my cafe and work on my ebook, edit this vlog. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like because it supports my channel and it lets me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will probably be either my Tropica haul, like my superfood haul, or my Byron vlog because it's Monday today and then on Friday we're going to Byron. So I'm super, super excited about that. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!